Thank you, Jim. It is my great honor to serve the first uh, Charlie Youth Memorial Lecture. My topic, experience of Aichi Nagoya and towards the sustainable region. As so, I would like to ask his question to show. And my teaching in the university, but uh, I was a president of this IIA. And this is a scene of my presidential address, uh, year of 2008, IIA 08, Harry Perth, uh, Australia. I told about ethics, ethics as a professional. And my talk is based on Bushido, Bushido is Japanese way. So, Bush means samurai, Do means way. So this concept is very similar to the new type of concept, ethics. So Bushido written in Chinese characters. The so Chinese we can imagine, uh, written two characters are Bushi, same as samurai. Do means way. So Bushido is the way of samurai the code of conduct, the code of ethics of samurai. And so this is based of moral of samurai. And samurai ruled Japan from the 12th century, and the Kamakura period near Tokyo. Then we had the age of civil wars from 15th to 16th centuries. And three samurai heroes in the 16th century these guys are very, very well known in Japan. And Oda Nobudanga, and Teotomi Hideyoshi, and Tokuma Ieyasu. You are familiar with this? Nango Castle. This is a, for Tokuma families. So, this area, Nango and Aichi, is an area for samurai culture. As the Governor Omar said, Oda Nobunaga, the first hero, he destroyed the old system. He is very strong power, very good in battles, and but masters. She, so he had very enemies. He was assassinated. But his successor, Teotomi Hideyoshi, he's very clever and very popular. And he united daimyos. He reorganized Japan and he made the United States of Japan at that time. But he failed to make this sustainable. He could not have good successor, so China War. Tokuma Ieyasu take over, and he could manage. He united our provinces, and Japan started a very good sustainable society. And his family and his successors continued over 300 years. So created a sustainable society based on the primary industry. So I would say mature, cyclic, agricultural, socio-economic system he could make. And a component of this is like Satoyama, as Professor Takeo said, this kind of system we had. This shows map, and maybe you are familiar with this. And now it's over there, and the castle is here, Nanga Castle. And where we are now, this blue point, Nanga Congress Center. And I prefecture is this area. So Nanga is a part of this prefecture. And I will to skip to make short uh, history from 1600. Battle of Sekingahara is a very, very famous event in my Japanese history. It is turned over the such powers from Teotomi to Tokugawa. And Tokugawa shogunate started 1603. And Edo Edo is Tokyo. So he made capital in Tokyo. And much cyclic anarchist society has been 
gradually grew up. In 1868, we had a restoration, major restoration, something like a revolution, but a restoration. Uh, industrialization because of pressure from outside countries, Western countries, and we could catch up. And then World War I and II, and we are defeated. As Mr. Meyer Kamala said, destroyed, and the castle was burned out. But we could reconstruct. And so we could make rapid economic growth. Your page, it is a symbolic city of environmental degradation, especially air pollution. And we have very many victims over there. Facing is a very, very close from here, maybe 20 or 25 kilometers to the south and the west from the center of Nagoya. And we have victims in environmental pollution. Rapid economic growth in the 1950s and 60s, it is very good. Good production, good for economy. But these are heavy industries or petrochemical industries. So this kind of scene, Yokai Petrochemical Industry Complex in 1960s, air pollution. Yokai Azuma, uh, air pollution by operation of this complex. Peoples in Yokmaich and under air pollution. This situation, 50 years ago. These are much better, but younger aged, some are killed. Aged people also killed. Very many suffer from Yokmaich Azuma. So people moved. Citizen moved. Yokmaich lawsuit. And 1972, the year of United Nations Conference on Human Environment, just on that time, declared responsibility of the com companies. This is a judgment. And it influenced the legislation of EIA in Japan. First EIA system was already made in 1973, just after NIPA system. Also in local government, Kawasaki had 1976. Very quick start. But change. We took a long time. National Act was made, national law was made, 1997. Why this happened? I will say more, but uh, not many times. So skip. Please consider and see uh, the books, uh, such paper. But I would like to answer to Charlie's uh, mind. We do show you some good practices. And fortunately, we have two good practices in this area. One is uh, Fujimai Tada flat in Nagoya, as Kamura, Mayor Kamura said, and I was involved in the process. And another one is this one, wild explosion, as Professor Kaku said, and also Omura uh, <coughs> before this. It was a very good planning process. And the first one, um, NCC, we are there. Then Fujimai is located very close to Nagoya, in the middle of Harbor area, so in the metropolis area. And the value of wetland was protected from garbage landfill after EIA process, after the process. So you can easily imagine the, how valuable this East Asian flyer. It began about three snipers problems from the south to the north. And Fujimiya is located at a very important point. Not only this, but also for domestic. It is a place for children to exist, experience our joy of cohesion with nature. So, citizen movement. But at that time, she was concerned to use it for land fee for the final treatment of municipal waste. But big dispute arose from 1984 when the announcement to the plan. And, but uh, after 10 or 15 years later, uh, according to the opinion poll, final two, final two thirds of students opposed local people. So government answered. But very complex 
very complicated situation. But I, in the process, I was asked to help them. So I acted to uh, some let's say, article in the newspaper, something like that. And also, I asked you, in 1998, in Christchurch, we had this conference. And I was at the AGM, annual general meeting. And on the stage, I made a speech to send this recommendation. I wrote this and discussed. And we had a one hour discussion. Then I could correct your signs. And this message was sent to my national government and Aichi Prefecture and Nangasti. And I personally handed this message to the guy in the national government. Who is that? Mr. Kobayashi. He's in charge of this. So I handed it. He's my old friend, but he, he knew this because he was there. He received in, in, in its institutional award from IIA because of establishment of AI Act in Japan. So he knows the process. So it worked. It boosted the process. So it pushed back the government and the parliament people, they built the site. So changed. So finally, we could protect the wetland. And that's basically the still movement, still the voice move the process. It is important. And he is, Mr. Atsuji is the leader of the NGO, Fujimai Hinata o Mamoruka in Japanese, the meaning Fujimai Tidal Flat, conserving type of this kind of NGOs. So finally we could have this guy. This is a famous journal, Built Environment, published from the United Kingdom. And the Environment Assessment Japanese style. I was invited as a guest editor for this special issue. And the fort is a fort of Fujimai, Tidal Flood. So even the British people surprised. We could conserve nature in the middle of a city, big city, metropolis. So this was became Ramsan site in 2002. So this is a one good story. Second one is world expression. And what is site? From the center of Naoya to the east, the red point, at 20 kilometers to the east. And so in this case, the original plan was made more sustainable through advanced EI process. And Takeuchi and we jointly uh, assist, advise the process. So this is a scenario of the expulsion, very gaily, attracted many people um, beyond the development and learn from wisdom, nature is a theme. But originally, this beautiful forest almost broken, destroyed for the development. But finally, this Satoyama was conserved. Who conserved? The people. And also, this bird. Otaka. Gosok. So, endangered species. So, in Japanese system, very compliant. So, if this kind of fact was found, automatically, the process should be start, stopped. So, we entered in the next stage, planning process. So, replanning. Left hand side is original plan, only forest, middle, forest plus existing park, the third, right, only a small portion of forest and the park, and also park is only two sides, so very more, much more compact. That means low pressure to the environment. So 25 million such visitors, the starting point plan, but uh, Finally, 15 million, so 40% reduction. Pressure is much lower. What happened? We could have a very nice place. The site of 2005 was very beautiful, rich of green and very compact and new technology. Then what happened? Many people visited. I visited there three times, many people. So it was successful. 
maybe time is not so I will finish up. Two points. One is the uh, Fujima tile front. They could conserve the wetland. Not only this, Nagasaki became more sustainable and so became a modesty of waste management and a very good reputation this city has. So many, many such experts are visiting Nagasaki. Wow, why you could make it more? They can reduce waste by collaboration with citizens and the local industries. So it is very good model and has a good reputation. Also, net nature conservation. So, as they said, they could have such a important conferences related to environment, sustainability, conservation. And second, I check Expo. This is a conserved statuyama. Not only this, it's a symbol of nature conservation. And it shows the value of Satoyama. And not only this, most important, the EI process shows the benefit of EI. This expression, before holding this, they thought we should have deficit. But finally, they could make profit. Why? Planning planned 15 million visitors, actually, actually invited 22 million. 7 million excess, that makes money. So it makes profit. So many, many people understood. Yeah, good environment, sustainable such plan, should make profit, give benefit. So this is the point. So these two cases happened in this area, samurai area, and samurai mindset. This ethics, as Professor Prashen has said, this works very well, uh, diligent people. And so, very good mentality. So, if system is good, it works well. And uh, in these cases, but still we need more work. These are still rare, not many. So, but Charlie said, we have to exchange our knowledge and experience, a mutual learning for this, one thing is failure. Failure is a source of success. But another thing is good practice, good place to stimulate people. So I'd like to convey, we need to learn from experience more. So maybe uh, Charlie might be not successful, uh, not so satisfied by this, but uh, I would like to do my best effort to respond to his uh, request because I saw him 20 years ago in Portugal as a first time. Uh, so I appreciate uh, Charlie and all of you. Uh, so as I said, and Prusjimai was protected by with your help, with your message, and chained. And the IH Expo also helped because we invited many opinions from all the world. So by this kind of exchange, creates much better world. Thank you very much.